a Californian and a native New Yorker going head to head. And of course, we're speaking of Don Janello, originally from Long Island, now bowling out of Perrysburg, Ohio, and Mark Baker, Huntington Beach, California, his opponent. First shot, Firestone. Don Janello, eighth Firestone appearance, his best finish, fourth in 1986. And here he is, colorful, gregarious, Mark Baker, fifth Firestone, finished second in 86, fifth in 1988. Nice crossover strike ball, so a little good fortune on the part of the Californian. Baker, the big, powerful player. He has a five-step delivery. He has that cupped release at the top. Good push away and a tremendous wrist action. And he throws the biggest hook, I think, of all the players today. Uh, Ballard throws it kind of more of a curve and a little bit softer. So Baker trying to capitalize on an early break. Coming up a little high, <clears throat> he has left the four. To set up the championship pair, you saw Baker crossing over on 28. Lane 28 hooks quite a bit more than 27. 27 kind of holds and should favor the down and in player like Janello. The hooking lane 28 should favor the big hook ball players. So Baker continues to mark. If you just joined us in our first game, it's Baker and Don Janello, the winner meet Del Ballard, to whom Bo talked a few moments ago, then Tony Westlake, followed by the tournament leader, Dave Ferraro. Now with the strike of Don Janello. Second frame. Janello, the fighter type. Nicknamed Bigfoot, wearing size 12 bowling shoes. Long span, he's got a kind of a shuffle four and a half step delivery, just ideal style, locked arm swing, shoulder high. Then he has the deep knee bend and really kind of posts that shot, that good follow through, and he sets it until the ball hits the pins. A great practice, especially under pressure. As you look at that real long span, full four, five and a half inch grip in that throw. Come on. All but the 10 pin, satisfied, uh, not with the fact he left it, but because of the hit, he thought he might have been worse. Janelle, a college player, went to Robert Morris University, won the College Union All Events in 1977, beating fellow PBA champion Jeff Bellinger. Easy spare the 10 pin. Checking uh, his fingers and his glove, uh, not happy with the release, Bo. Well, it's so hot in here. The weather in Akron has been 80 to 85 degrees all week long. It's about the same right now. And so it's very warm environment in the Boeing Center and all the players may have trouble holding on to the ball. Spare up for Baker. It was very close to the channel and it's a second strike. Earlier we asked uh, Mark what a Firestone win would mean to him today. Uh, my game evolved to where I really had no timing, and I, I tried to do something I wasn't. I got my power out of the game. I went back to Reno, Nevada, saw my coach, Bill Julian. He got me straightened out in about two days, and uh, I'm sitting here today. Thanks, Bill. So, Mark Baker uh, thanking the man that got him out of his slump. We know what the Firestone means to him. Tell you more about Mark Baker after this. We put our Firestone Firehawk GTX to the test. Event. Don with the spare up shooting in the fourth. He opened with a double, then marked with the spare. Now his third strike of his first match. Okay, Don Janello. We asked him earlier that he'd bowl pearly the last two outings. What has he been doing to make it better? I think the, uh, the problem I had in Grand Prairie was I was trying too hard. I, I predicted that if I led the tournament, I'd win, and I tried to win the tournament with each shot. I'm going to try and go out there today and be uh, a little easier on myself and just try to make good shots instead of trying to win the tournament with each shot that I throw. And there 
that was a good shot to take the lead from Mark Baker momentarily at least leading by nine pins. Janello, who is fourth in the Pinole Open and second at Quaker State. From overhead, Mark Baker. Chris, that's about the most unusual 7-10 split I have ever seen. The ball was almost solid in the pocket, and he has to really get lucky to make it. We saw Mark, Baker, uh, Mark Roth make it years ago by bouncing the 10 pin over in the 7. But uh, that ball was an apparent good hit, and even Baker had to turn around and say, what happened? So it's an open frame. You're speaking of Mark Roth. He finished 14th had a bowling ball stolen and here's how Mark did the 710. Some 10 years ago you see the ball double kisses the pin and the pin bounces over in the 10 pin into the seven. Uh, obviously Roth like that and as you said was in contention here. Let's see if Baker can recover from that really bad break. And now Mark Baker, the Californian played with the second split Nelson. It ain't easy out here on tour. No way, as he slides in very light, he leaves a 2A10, as I said, the left-hand lane here, this championship here, 27, will not hook back or finish as much as the right-hand lane. It should give Ballard and Baker some trouble. So far, trouble for Baker. And also very quickly, he now trails Don Janello by 34, who has a double working and now shooting in the sixth frame of the first match. Head to head, you win, you advance, you lose, you get $10,000. Watch how straight Janela walks the line compared to the big hookball players. Four pen, Don has been noted to talk to the bowling ball. Uh, his sign language sort of tells you the story of how he felt about the shot. In other words, he was lucky to get away with only the four. Well, he's playing the proper line around the second arrow, playing the track or Warren area on the right side, and it favors his type of shot. There is Mary Janello of Perrysburg, Ohio. Just so nervous, and why not? This is the 16th stop of our winter tour, and it's the major event, the Firestone. With picture book follow through, Don Canello with a strike in the seventh frame, leading by 33. More after this.